G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here covering a new video series on Microsoft Word 2013 in its entirety. I'm going to be covering as many features as I possibly can. I'm going to make absolutely no assumed knowledge of what you can and can't do. And I'm also going to cover as many bloody features as I can from the very basics all the way up to the advanced features. Okay. This really is aimed towards students and people who don't know much. So if you know your stuff when it comes to Microsoft Word and you're watching these couple of first videos, maybe skip ahead or maybe consider watching somebody else's channel. Because right now, I am going to start and kick this thing off with just what Microsoft Word is. Now, Microsoft Word's quite interesting if you've never come across it before. It comes in a suite, if you look in the top left corner of my screen, called Office. Now, a suite is a group of applications who are extremely related and Microsoft Office provides a number of tools, Microsoft Word being one, Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Publisher, Microsoft PowerPoint, Microsoft Access and more being examples of what else comes in Office and they all have different jobs. Microsoft Word's jobs is to write documents, is to replace the pen and paper, is to replace the good old typewriter is to replace you ever having to write anything on a piece of paper again. You type it up on the computer, you hit print, and you can print it off. You hit save, you can save it to your USB, you can save it to OneDrive, you can move it around everywhere. If you don't know OneDrive, I will explain that at a future point. Okay. One thing I will quickly tell you about is there is one newer version of Microsoft Office that I won't be covering, and it's called Office 365. Now, the reason I'm not covering Office 365 is because it's only online. You can't, well, you can, but you can't really install it to your computer. And it comes with a lot less features, so I can't teach you as much about it. So we're going to stick with the 2013 version for the moment. All right. And what I quickly want to cover before I go to my next video, which is installing Office, is where you get the thing. Now, I've just Googled Microsoft Word, and this is the page that's come up. Okay, and you can read all about all the different features that Microsoft Word has to offer you. And if you'd like to give all this a go, there is up the top, try it for home. However, if you know you want it, if you know you're going to purchase this thing, up the top, let's go to buy it now and let's click on for home. If you're just a general user, just an everyday user, here it is, Office 365, you can pay a subscription of $12 per month or save a little bit of money and go for the $120 and get yourself a nice double movie pass, which I'm sure you'd only be able to use in America. But anyway, so that is one option. This is a yearly subscription. You would have to pay $120 or $12 a month to keep your office active. And that's $120 a year, by the way. Now, if that's not for you, if you're the kind of person that likes to buy things once, install it to their computer and leave it on their computer, then let's scroll down you have this option down here for Office 2013. And this is the one I'm going to be covering in detail. 170 bucks, you can install it to one computer, you can use it as much as you want. Now notice that the student at home comes with very few applications. And then the business version comes with a few more, and then the professional comes with absolutely everything included, but the price incrementally gets larger. Now if you were to buy from this website, you are actually going to buy what's called a product key for that. And it's a CD key basically, which gives you access to that. Once you've got that CD key, you can download the application from Microsoft and then Bob's your uncle, you're ready to go. If you do not like that option, you can actually go to a good old brick and mortar, Harvey Norman, good guys, and buy yourself a copy of 2013. It may not be as cheap, but you will get a CD, DVD, I should say, and you can come home jam it into your computer and install it along with me in the next video. Now finally, one more option. There is Get Office for a student. Now I'm going to put this link in the bottom of the video. I'm going to put a couple of links, but this one in particular. Let's go to Office. There is Get Office 365 Students. Now hopefully I'm still not logged in. Okay, let's go to this page here. This one here is a free version of Office 365. For you to be able, if you are a student in New South Wales in Australia, you can get yourself a free copy of Microsoft Office 365 that you can actually download to your computer and use as 2013 as well. So if we click on this link, it's going to take us to the page where we have to log in to your portal. Over here, it says sign in with your work or school account. So if you type in, like, let's say John Doe. At, now, if you are part of the Department of Education, so if you're the government schooling 
in New South Wales, you type in this, and all of a sudden it's going to take you to the sign in page for the Department of Education and Communities. And this is where you would type in all your stuff. So you would type in your username, you would log in like you normally would, and that would take you back to be able to download the page. Okay, I'm going to quickly stop the video and show you what that next page looks like. All right, and this is what it actually does look like. If you can, you can actually tell that I've already installed this just once. But you would probably see from here down, install the latest version of Office, here's all your options, and you can select the language and the version you would like to download and install to your computer. Notice how this actually includes a whole lot of application. That's because this version is Office Professional. It comes with a lot of things. Now, what I'd probably recommend, if you know what type of application you have, a 32-bit or a 64-bit, I would almost recommend you use the 64-bit. It's going to be mildly um, it's going to be mildly fast. <laughs> Click on the install button. It's going to download an installer for you, and then it's going to install it to your computer. All right, so I'm going to click on this. I'm going to download the package, and I'm going to meet you in the next video where we're going to install it from scratch, and I'm going to show you how to open it up and find it. So thanks for watching the first video, everybody. I hope you enjoy this series, but let's get cracking. Install Office so we can actually use Microsoft Word for the first time. See you soon, everyone. Thanks, like, subscribe, do whatever you'd like down the bottom. Bye-bye.